Alright, for you guys that don't know, I did all the wiring on these lights up here. These are uh, four 130 watt KC highlights, I think they call them. 130 amp, I mean 130 watt KC lights. And those are the long range lights, okay? Pretty well made. Uh, the lens is all rubber insulated. The mounts have rubbers mounted on them. Uh, it's always been a really good light. So right here, this is eight gauge wire. This feeds the four lights. And then uh, this wire here is my control wire. This actually has six pairs of wires in there. And they're smaller gauge because all they run is the uh, is the relays. These operate the relays in there. And then what I got is a chassis ground. Actually should probably have a better ground than that. And I got these lights grounded on all over the place here. Because this rack wasn't grounded, I had to run another another uh, wire and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, yeah, I can feel the heat. These are my switches. Those there are switches from. Um, I did say Day Glow. No, was it Daystar? Daystar. Those actually are designed to fit in a Jeep into the Jeep dash cutouts. I guess they call them for like auxiliary switches. So there's two for the lights on top, and these will be for either front lights, you know, driving light, fog light, that kind of deal. Underneath the dash here yeah, is where my power comes in. Okay. Good to have there. Anyway, this is the, uh, this I got like in the stereo department. It's kind of cool. It's got two fuses. It's like a distribution box, I guess you'd call it. I got a 100 amp fuse and it's got a 30 amp fuse. So here's my feed in from the battery. Eight gauge coming in, it splits up. Eight gauge going out on the 100 amp fuse up to the roof. Rooftop. And this little 30 amp here is feeding, uh, hmm, where does it go to? I believe that's going to the scan gauge and my two way radio. I believe. And then this wire here goes up. Okay, so that's my main fuse there. But then I think that wire goes up through here. And then I had to snake it up there to the top. So I had to take all this trim stuff off and this stuff off and pull the corner of the headliner down. You know, just enough so I could get, get in there and, and feed a wire up. You know? You know, eh? Yeah. So that was my idea there. The fuse actually goes in and it's tied into the battery inside here. Not the fuse, the main power wire. Anyway, it's a similar setup on the Bronco, except on the Bronco, I've got more lights. I've got two auxiliary lights in the back, or utility lights. i got the two fog lights back there. Those are on there for, uh, basically for uh, off-roading in the dust. And there's a lot of people behind you, and it's dusty even during the day. It gives them a chance to see you through the dust and not run into you. All right. Yeah, this is JC Whitney product here. 
This comes pre-wired with little LEDs in here. Pretty cool, huh? It's, it's a little panel. It's got all these little switches and very inexpensive. I don't remember how much it cost. But I had this hole here. I don't know what this hole was for. And this plate that it comes with lights mounted on it wasn't big enough. So I had to make my own little cover on there fit it up somehow that's worked out good so far it's all my lights those are all working off relays my galaxy there's my galaxy it's got a loose circuit or something it's hard any sound you gotta smack it Test one, two. I don't know why I get feedback on this radio. One, two, one, two. How's that? Nope. Oh, tested. One, two. Anyway. Oh, here's something else you uh, might be interested in. Here's my console, and underneath the console, I got this box here. And it's got this little screen on there. This is where I have my amplifiers mounted. I got two amps in here. I got a subwoofer crossover right here on the side with the adjustable uh, deal so I can get to them. And to keep the amps cool, I put a computer fan in here, 12 volt computer fan, so it sucks the air in this side and out the back side so it's got like a flow through a flow through deal you know it gets like flow cross flow is that what you call it cross flow ventilation now in this trick I got a hundred amp fuse actually under the hood at the battery uh, connection So anyway, it's a boring ass weekend. I feel like it's just a waste of weekend. I just, I would have liked to gone somewhere. So I'm gonna give this a temporary coat of paint, just spray it on for now, and uh, maybe next month I'll uh, finish this off. That's what's going on here.